Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about how to implement 16 by 1 multiplexer using 4 by 1 multiplexer in digital electronics course and digital logic design course and switching theory and logic design course. In the previous video, we are already discussed about how to implement 8x1 multiplexer using 2x1 multiplexer, how to implement 8x1 multiplexer using 4x1 multiplexer, how to implement 8x1 multiplexer using 4x1 and 2x1 multiplexer. If anybody want these videos, Please refer that videos in my YouTube channel, Dibbela Srinivasa Rao. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about how to design 16 by 1 multiplexer using 4 by 1 multiplexer. Here, the required multiplexer is 16 by 1 multiplexer. The available multiplexer is 4 by 1 multiplexer. The required multiplexer 16 by 1 in that one 16 is nothing but number of input lines and 1 is nothing but number of output lines. So the 16 by 1 multiplexer block diagram is shown in this figure. So here there are 16 inputs are there I0 to I15 total 16 input lines and only one output line is that that is a Y. So among that 16 input lines only one input line can be selected whatever the input line that is a selected that can be sended as the output. So among that 16 input lines one line can be selected by using the selection input lines. So these are the selection input lines. By using that selection input lines, we can select only one input line among the 16 input lines. That input can be sended as the output. This operation can be done when the enable input E value is equal to 1. When the enable input E value is equal to 0, the multiplexer does not perform its operation. Hence, enable input can be called as a control input of 16 by 1 multiplexer. Next, how to determine the number of selection lines? So, the number of selection lines can be determined by using the formula input lines less than or equal to 2 power selection lines 2 power selection lines so how many number of input lines are there so 16 input lines less than or equal to 2 power n this can be written as 16 less than or equal to 2 power 4 so substitute n value is equal to 4 then 16 less than or equal to 16 condition true. So therefore n is equal to 4. n is nothing but number of selection lines. Number of selection lines. Number of selection lines is equal to 4 that are S3, S2, S1, and S0. Four selection lines are there that are S3, S2, S1, S0. Here this is S3, here S2, S1, S0. Okay. So here number of input lines in required multiplexer that is 16 by 1 is 16. Number of output lines only 1. Number of selection lines that is 4. This is the description of 16 by 1 multiplexer. Next one, so this is the truth table of 16 by 1 multiplexer. So here the inputs can be taken as the selection lines. So what are the selection lines? S3, S2, 
S1 and S0. So these are the inputs. So that inputs are selection input lines. And what is the output line here? Y. Y is the output lines. Okay. With the four input lines, how many number of input combinations we are getting? So 2 power 4. So n is nothing but 4. How many number of possible input combinations we are getting? 16 possible input combinations. So that are 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. Here, so S3, S2, S1, S0 values are 0, 0, 0, 0. What is the equivalent decimal value? That is a 0. Then, I0 input is selected. That input can be sended as the output. So, Y is equal to I0. Next one. S3, S2, S1, S0 values are 0, 0, 0, 1. What is the equivalent decimal value? 1. Therefore, I1 input is selected. That input can be sended as the output. So, that is Y is equal to I1. Next, S3, S2, S1, S0 values are 0, 0, 1, 0. What is the equivalent decimal value? That is 2. Therefore, I2 input is selected. That input can be sended as the output. So, in the same way, whatever the S3, S2, S1, S0 values are there, the equivalent decimal value we have to find out. According to that, the corresponding input is selected. That input can be sent as the output. So, here I3, I4, I5, I6, I7, I8, I9, I10, I11, I12, I13, I14, I15. So, in this way, the outputs we are getting from the corresponding selection input lines S3, S2, S1, S0. Okay. So, this is the truth table of required multiplexer 16 by 5, 16 by 1 multiplexer. Next one. After knowing the description of required multiplexer that is a 16 by 1, how it can be implemented using 4 by 1 multiplexer. Okay. So, 16 by 1 multiplexer contains 16 input lines. So, therefore, N1 is equal to 16. N1 is nothing but number of input lines in the required multiplexer. Next, in the 4 by 1 multiplexer, 4 input lines are there. Therefore, N2 is equal to 4. N2 is nothing but number of input lines in the available multiplexer. Okay. So, once we are knowing the N1 and N2 value, how many number of 4 by 1 multiplexers are required? That can be calculated by using this steps. Number of 4 by 1 multiplexers required in first level. Okay. So, the formula is N1 by N2. What is N1 value? That is a 16. 16 by 4. That is equal to 4. Okay. So, next one. This result can be used for the second level. How many number of multiplexers are required? So, number of 4 by 1 multiplexers required in second level. So, whatever the result we are getting from the first level divided by N2. N2 is nothing but number of multiplexers required, number of input lines in the available multiplexer. So, 4 by 4 is equal to 1. So, whenever the value 1 we are getting, we have to stop that procedure. Suppose, here we are getting 1, we have to stop the procedure. There is no requirement of going for second level. Okay. So, once we are getting the value 1, we have to stop the procedure. That means, in the first level, number of 4 by 1 multiplexers required is 4. In the second level, number of 4 by 1 multiplexers required is 1. Therefore, total number of 4 by 1 multiplexers are required to implement 16 by 1 multiplexer is 4 plus 1 that is equal to 5. 
फाइव मल्टीप्लेक्सर्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू इंप्लीमेंट सिक्सटीन बाई वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर नौ इन द फर्स्ट लेवल फोर फोर बाय वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर्स आर देर इन द सेकंड लेवल ओनली वन फोर बाय वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर इज देर टोटल फाइव फोर बाय वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू इंप्लीमेंट सिक्सटीन बाय वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर्स सो हियर देर आर सिक्सटीन इनपुट लाइंस आर देर आई नॉट टू आई फिफ्टीन and only one output line is there so 16 input lines one output line we can get the 16 by 1 multiplexer using 5 4 by 1 multiplexer so in the first level 4 4 by 1 multiplexers are there in each and every 4 by 1 multiplexer four input lines are there one output line is there four input lines one output line four input lines one output line four input lines one output line whatever the outputs we are getting from the first level that outputs can be sended as the input for the second level one four by one multiplexer this multiplexer can take the four inputs that are obtained from the outputs of each and every 4 by 1 multiplexer so and it produce only one output okay next one so here in this multiplexer so among that four input lines only one input line can be selected as output so what input is selected and how we are getting the output by using the selection input lines how many number of selection input lines are required to implement 16 by 1 multiplexer four selection input lines that is s3 s2 s1 s0 okay so first two selection input lines are s1 and s0 that that are the selection input lines for all the multiplexers in the first level so that is uh, s1 s0 for this multiplexer also s1 s0 for this multiplexer also s1 s0 for this multiplexer also s1 and s0 first two selection input lines are the selection input lines for the entire 4 by 1 multiplexers in the first level next two selection input lines s3 and s2 are the selection input lines for the 4 by 1 multiplexer in the second level so s3 s2 okay so this procedure we have to follow okay so once we are getting the four selection input lines for the 16 by 1 multiplexer among that 16 inputs only one input is selected that can be sended as the output okay so here we have to use this functional truth table so we have to observe only uh, two outputs how we are getting the same procedure we have to follow for the remaining outputs also i am taking only so i2 and i10 so these two are explained in this diagram so the remaining outputs are also follow the same procedure okay for getting the output i2 i2 output so s1 s0 values are 1 and 0 s1 s0 values are s1 s0 values are 1 0 and s3 s2 values are 0 0 s3 s2 values are 0 0 okay so i2 output the corresponding selection input combination is 0 0 1 0 s1 value 1 s0 value 0 s3 value 0 s2 value 0 okay now observe this multiplexer so s1 s0 values are 1 0 1 0 
means the decimal equivalent value is 2. Okay, so then I2 input is selected that can be sent as the output. So this is I2. Next one. For this multiplexer, S1, S0 values are 1, 0. The equivalent decimal value is 2. 2 means this is the 0th input, 1th input, this is the second input. So I6 input is selected. So that input can be sent as the output. Okay. So next this one, S1, S0 values are 1, 0. The equivalent decimal value is 2. That is I10 input is selected. That can be sent as the output. Next one for this multiplexer, S1, S0 values are 1, 0. I14 input is selected. That can be sent as the output. Okay. So that means whenever S1, S0 values are 1, 0, for each and every 4 by 1 multiplexer, the third input, so that is here I2, here I6, here I10, here I14, the third input is selected that can be sent as the output. Now, for this multiplexer, S3, S2 values are 0, 0. So 0, 0 means the first input is selected, that can be sent as the output. Here the first input is I2, I2 input is selected, that can be sent as the output. So therefore, Y is equal to I2. Okay, next, next, we have to observe this one. Okay, for this output, the corresponding input combinations are S1 value 1, S0 value 0, S3 value is 1, S2 value is 0. Here 1, 0, 1, 0. 1, 0, 1, 0. So how these uh, I10 input we are getting, we have to observe. We have to get I10 input. I10 input. Okay. So here... S1, S0 values are 1, 0. 1, 0, the equivalent decimal value is 2. 2 means that is the third input is selected, I2. Here also S1, S0 value is 1, 0, I6 input is selected. Here S1, S0 value is 1, 0, that is the I10 input is selected. Here S1, S0 values are 1, 0. This is a I14 input is selected. Okay. Now S3, S2 values are also 1, 0. So that can take 4 inputs. For this multiplexer can take 4 inputs. Whatever the outputs we are getting from the previous level. So I2, I6, I10, I14 are the inputs for this 4 by 1 multiplexer. Among that four inputs, only one input line is selected. That input line can be sent as the output. So here S3, S2 values are 1, 0. 1, 0 means that is the third one. 1, 2, 3. The third one is I10. I10 input is selected. That can be sent as the output. Okay. So in this way, we have to get any output by use the corresponding selection input lines. The same procedure we have to follow with forgetting any output among that 16 outputs based on the selection input lines. Okay, so this is the block diagram of 16 by 1 multiplexer using 4 by 1 multiplexer. Total 5 4 by 1 multiplexers are required to implement 16 by 1 multiplexer. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. I hope all of you understanding that uh, video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. After subscribing my YouTube channel, so develop Srinivasarao. After subscribing my channel, please click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts. Okay. 
सो थैंक यू थैंक यू वन एंड ऑल फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो